Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. Now, some of you may be able to guess who I'm about to take up, and if you can, leave a comment below. Let me know who you think I'm about to take up. But I'm about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Black Widow, Deadly Origin. So I have wanted to get this champion for a while. Not, she wasn't on my most wanted list, but time and time again, folks were like, oh, hey, do you have a Black Widow, Deadly Origin? She's great for that path. Uh, just recently, I've been exploring Act 7. And we were in uh, Act 7.3.3. Uh, five, I think. And there was a path, a thunderstruck path. And they were like, Ooh, Black Widow Daily Origins is great for that path. And I'm like, ah, that's nice. But I did not have a six star Black Widow Daily Origin. And my five star wasn't even ranked up. So I said, Ugh, I would love to get her just because she's a great, great champion to have for those times that you need her. I don't expect to use her, you know, all the time or, or frequently or anything like that, but she is a good champ to uh, use. Now, I wonder if uh, she'll end up on my uh, defense team. I have to let my uh, officer know that I took this champ up. So she may end up uh, going on defense. I, I don't know. Uh, but she's definitely a useful uh, champion uh, to have in, in uh, anyone's toolkit. All right, so um, sorry that uh, I did not stream today. Uh, just a, a brief word on why not. Um, Sunday morning, the entire neighborhood went out. Power done for a while. Everything shut down, uh, my computer, everything. That's how long it was out because I have a UPS, so it didn't just go off. Um, so it was out for uh, well more than half an hour. And when it came back, the internet has been flaky ever since. In fact, I made the video yesterday on the um, results from the arena. And I, I don't know if you noticed, but it was out late. I actually recorded it earlier in the day and it was about four hours later because I couldn't even upload it to YouTube. Every time I tried, suddenly the internet said, oh no, you don't have an internet connection. Now everything here is you know, connecting just fine, um, but what I ended up having to do, um, I've rebooted several times, um, but what I've had to do is just stay off of it. You know, as long as I'm doing something that seems to be, you know, low activity, perhaps, then we're good. All right. Um, but anyway, that's why you didn't uh, see me um, streaming today. Now, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I will because I hate not streaming. I really do. Um, but if I'm able to, I will, I'll at least try and see if the internet will hold up. And if it doesn't, then, uh, we just won't be able to stream that day. I am grinding for the five star Quicksilver. So this was the worst time. It also affects my grind. So I've had to actually, uh, get on, uh, you know, use the hotspot on my phone in order to connect. And that's usually in the house here. That's usually not the best connection. It's actually now the best connection. Uh, if I try to use the house internet, after a while, it'll just keep going out, keep going out. Um, but when I use the phone one, it seems to work just fine. So that's what I've had to do. All right, so what you see me doing here, um, if you noticed, uh, I was just trying to get some ISO, some uh, class ISO. And it was kind of funny because uh, the more I tried uh, to get, you know, some decent ISO, you know, four star, 
uh, skill champion or something like that. They were just like, no, we know what you want. We know what you're the lowest on. So we know what you want. And so it was a challenge to try to get uh, some skill ISO. Um, not that I need to do it. I could just use off-class ISO. I lose uh, some gold, but um, who cares? I, I don't have gold problems. I also don't have ISO problems because, as you can see, I have tons of uh, crystals to open up. Now, even though um, the amount of premium shards goes down because I don't get them, uh, Kabam had made that change, so I don't get them as much as I used to, what took its place is those Grandmaster Crystals. And I have well over a million shards uh, for those. So when these run out, I can use those. One of the reasons that I like using these is because they still count for the advancement. I don't know if they've made the Grand Master Crystals count for advancement yet. Um, somebody leave a comment and let me know uh, if they have. I, I need to test that out myself. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm remembering it, but when there's an advancement again, I'll probably forget uh, to test it and see if it uh, they give points. All right, so here I'm opening up some five stars just because uh, now, this is the other reason that I'm opening up generic. Uh, you'll notice, um, if you go back in the video, that there's a, I think it's a mutant, yeah, there we go, mutant skill. So you would think I should open up the mutant skill dual class crystal, right? If I'm trying to get skill ISO. Makes sense, right? But unless they've changed it, those also don't count towards the advancement. And there is an advancement going on right now. So I'm just like, okay, not only that, but I have most of the mutant skill champions that are five stars. But I don't have a few, like Black Bolt, who's a cosmic. So opening up the basics is much better for me because I have a chance to get the Black Bolt and a chance to get the skill ISO. So that's why I'm opening up just basic five stars rather than the mutant skill when I'm looking for skill ISO um, so this last one and we got blade now when this happened I had to laugh I had to laugh because I saved for blade many years ago and never got him and I, I don't remember how long after that uh, saving <clears throat> saving for blade when I actually pulled him <clears throat> from the uh, crystal and I took him up sig 200 at the time he was a great great um, uh, 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 prestige option so I took him up and I think I've pulled him since then maybe once and this would make twice I could be off by one uh, so I might have pulled him maybe twice before, but not that many times. And we have a six-star blade now. And I would love to get a six-star blade, but memories of that time, yeah. No thank you. No thank you. All right, so that's the rank-up portion of the video. I'm going to show you a little bit of her stats and everything. Then we're going to run into Realm of Legends and see what she can do. All right, this is the team that I'm going in with right now. Let's take a look at the synergies that I have active. I just really threw together uh, some synergy teams here. All right, so this first synergy with Taskmaster, each time Black Widow strikes with Widow's Insight active, she gains 2% of a bar of power. Okay, sounds good, except I wasn't quite sure what Widow's Insight was. Okay, but anyway, uh, the next one, uh, reduce the potency of incoming bleed debuffs by 10%. That sounds good because I run suicides and I also run coagulate. So this will just basically reduce even more uh, her damage. So that seems like a, a good synergy that I might want to explore. Uh, this one here, uh, when the opponent starts a dash attack or is recovering from a heavy special or combo ending attack, gain widow's insight for 0.85 seconds ending a combo with widow's insight active grants a cruelty buff 
increasing critical damage rating by 450 for 12 seconds. So that's more damage. And finally, just more critical damage. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. I have no idea of how to play her. Um, now, one of the things that I did read is that if Hawkeye is dead, she gets even more of a reduction in that bleed. So I'm going to go right on in here and just die with Hawkeye. Don't run. Don't run. Come on. There we go. All right. Oh. Hawkeye a bit a little tanky. <laughs> Taking him a little bit longer. Of course, he is a six star, but still. Come on. All right. There we go. Okay. Yeesh. That took a little bit longer than I was uh, expecting it to. All right. Now. Let's take a look, see what we got. Now her damage is sneaky. You don't necessarily see a lot of um, big yellow numbers. But, Look at that damage. Her damage is legit. And she is great for paths like uh, Thunderstruck. I cannot wait. I don't know if she needs to be awakened or what. Okay. Hit him with a special two. Hmm. I saw a 15k crit in there. Mm. That is a lot of shock damage. And one of the things that I like is that her, um, her shock damage, they don't have a lot of, um, whoops. Uh, they don't have a lot of champs that are immune to it. All right, let's see what we what we looking like at the end here. Fight duration, minute 24. I got hit once because I looked up. Look at that shock damage. Ay, yeah, yay. Hmm. And Double Edge didn't do a lot of damage. One of these times I need to compare uh, Hawkeye Awakened, I mean, uh, Alive versus Not. Let's try another um, another fight here. But yeah, I, I like her. And I expect to be using her for paths that, you know, require shock or anything like that. Usually during the Cavalier um, monthly quest. Be scared. All right, I'm going to uh, build up to a special three because we haven't watched the special three yet. Let's do a heavy. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, ow. That one had to sting. Not too bad. I see the power gain. So I must have had that Widow's Insight active. Hit her with a special one. Okay. I wonder if I'm supposed to... Uh... Let me try something. I'm going to fire the special one. And 
then I'm gonna let her... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm a learner. I'm a learner for sure. Mm. Nasty. So I got some uh, learning to do for sure. Um, but I'm very happy with this rank up. I was very happy to get her. Um, she's going to be very, very useful. A very useful uh, tool in my toolkit. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I know most of you already knew who I was going to take up. But take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. If you have some ideas or thoughts or uh, tips and tricks on her, leave a comment. I always read the comments. All right. So take care. And you all have a blessed day.